number one, and I know it sounds simple enough, but the first tip I want to give you guys is doing a cardio session, the type of cardio that you actually enjoy. The reason I stress this is like, for example, with weightlifting, the exercise you pick, you're not going to pick an exercise you hate, you're going to pick exercise you enjoy, so that your actual workouts are going to be enjoyable to do. And same with cardio, you have to pick a cardio session, the type of cardio that you actually enjoy in order to sustain it and actually make the fitness lifestyle in your life uh, more enjoyable, right? So if you prefer doing low intensity walks for longer sessions and burning more calories over a longer period of time and such, why are you, why are you running balls to the walls on a regular basis, right? If you prefer doing hit cardio sessions like myself, why are you doing all your cardio sessions walking on an inclined treadmill, right? Doing cardio you simply don't want to do will eventually become very demotivating, which will actually in turn impact your performance in the gym and in fitness in general. Cardio is a great thing to do, so in order to make the most out of it for you, do a type of cardio you actually want to do. Tip number two, don't forget your earphones. And no matter what type of cardio you do, pretty much everyone wants their earphones, no matter whether they're listening to music or videos, in order to actually make their cardio more enjoyable to do. Last thing you want to happen to you is feeling pumped as hell about your session that lies ahead of you, only to realise that when you check your bag, your earphones aren't in there as you left them at home. So that's going to leave you very pissed off and you are not going to be very, you're not going to really enjoy your session afterwards because you're going to be so frustrated about that. And also studies show that uh, people that listen, that wear earphones, that use their earphones and listening and listen to music actually maintain high levels of focus and obviously if you're more focused, you're most likely going to get a better session in. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm just kidding. Tip number three is actually setting yourself a goal, making it goal worthy. So by picking the type of cardio that is like goal setting, so you can actually set yourself a goal and actually like and weightlifting, applying progressive overload but to your cardio sessions, it gives you like a sense of purpose, a sense of direction. If you want to make gains in the gym, you're not just going to wander around aimlessly, you're going to go in for a plan, right? So do the same with cardio and set yourself a goal, actually apply progressive overload with your cardio as well and actually get more out of it and become fitter and faster, for example. And by doing this, this can actually be seen as more motivating as well. Tip number four, mix it up time to time. Similar to weightlifting, you want to vary up the type of exercises you do. So with cardio, you want to mix up some of the cardio sessions you're doing time to time in order to actually make it more enjoyable so that you're not just stuck doing the same exercise for months and months. Pick a type of cardio you want to get good at that's enjoyable and put more focus into it in order to get good at it. Don't skip from one exercise to another and also don't do exercises that you simply can't do. Just take things one step at a time and enjoy the process and then mix it up from time to time. And tip number five, the last tip I want to give you guys is actually picking a type of cardio that will challenge you. Now the reason I stress this, like, like I, I've said, comparing to weightlifting you're not going to pick a weight that doesn't challenge you because if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you now i say yes pick a cardio session that actually challenges you but only to your actual level don't pick a cardio session or a workout that athletes do to their exact level because you're probably not going to be as fit as them and because of this you're probably just going to really not enjoy it and end up collapsing Yeah, pick a cardio session that challenges you so you can get the most out of your cardio sessions. Now as that is the last tip, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel for future content. Because I do upload consistently as you guys have seen. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video.